The Star City loses its claim to fame on the Forbes Fortune 500 list as its only company announces it's moving its headquarters to North Carolina. Advance Auto Parts officials made the announcement alongside North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper this morning in Raleigh. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas spoke with company officials. She's live in the studio tonight with more on that move. Rachel, what's it mean for our area? Well, an official with Advance Auto Parts assured me today that the Roanoke office, along with its nearly 650 employees, are safe. But while day-to-day -day operations are remaining the same here, we're losing out on the addition of 435 new jobs at the company's new headquarters in Raleigh over the next five years. After more than 85 years in the Star City, Advance Auto Parts, founded in Roanoke, made the announcement Wednesday morning it would move its headquarters to Raleigh, North Carolina. Governor Roy Cooper boasted about the move on his Facebook page. The decision came down to business. Advance is looking to create a new technology and e-commerce sector, prompting the addition of 435 new jobs. Raleigh and Wake County's offer of a $10 million incentive package topped what Virginia offered. It became clear to us that the North Carolina offer uh, was better, not only financially, but uh, in terms of um, just the, the pool of technology talent in the, in the Raleigh area. The headquarters namesake came with a deal. Daryl Carr, a spokesperson with the company, said the CEO and many top executives are already there. But he assured us Roanoke's more than 600 jobs are staying in its founding city. So the Roanoke office uh, will not be closing. No jobs will be impacted. Um, and that it goes for our Richmond office as well. Advance is ranked number 293 on the Fortune 500 list. While the move won't change its rank, it will no longer be headquartered in the city where it started. Let me be honest, nobody wants to lose the Fortune 500 company. While the move hurts, okay, Roanoke City Mayor Sherman Lee says he's thankful that no jobs are lost and that Advance is keeping close ties within the community. I'm encouraged and so we're going to keep working and to make sure that we can land another Fortune 500 company here in our city. Mayor Lee, as well as officials with Advance Auto Parts today, wanted to stress for Roanoke not to panic. Again, that other than the headquarters designation, day-to-day -day operations here are remaining the same. Lee went on to say that he appreciates the company's charitable giving to the city, as well as their investment here in our community. In studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.